Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to one of the main events of the cycling season, the mythical Paris-Roubaix. With its flat terrain and numerous cobbled sectors, this classic offers an atypical route where a rider's condition is as important as luck if he is to hope for victory. As every year, there's likely to be a fierce battle to join the morning breakaway. Indeed, given the vagaries created by the cobblestones, it's not uncommon to see the morning breakaway hold off the favourites for the best part of the race, and sometimes even fight for the podium places. With more than 260 kilometers on the menu, it takes qualities of extraordinary endurance to hope for a win today. The peloton has caught up. There's no more escapees. He's trying to escape. The first hundred kilometers are of little interest and are often used as an observation ground by the favorites in order to see which team will take the race in hand.
Attack at the head of the peloton. One minute for the breakaway. It's looking good. His teammates are accelerating. He's no doubt asked them to reel in the counter-attack to avoid too big a breakaway. The peloton is riding hard. Stay well placed. He's primarily a teammate ruler, even if he's not too bad on a sprint. Attack at the head of the peloton. It doesn't seem to be a good day for him. He's being distanced.
The time gap with the head of the race is stable. A good ruler with not too bad a punch, he should still try to get away before the finish because he's not so fast in a sprint. A good ruler, he doesn't really have a strong point that would scare opponents. True sprinter who's not too bad of a short climb. Beware of him in the sprint. He's a puncher at home on the hilly terrain.
His pace is not really an asset, and so, instead, he must rely on his capabilities as a ruler puncher to gain the upper hand.
Watch out. You're not going to be able to attack for much longer. Watch out. You're not going to be able to keep up this pace for very long. You risk a blow-up. If you continue at this rate, you'll explode. The time gap with the head of the race is stable. One minute for the breakaway. It's looking good. Breakaway is upping the tempo at the head of the race. It doesn't intend to be caught up that easily. You must constantly try to shelter from the wind so as not to consume energy. This is what allows a rider to edge clear at the end of the race.
time difference between the peloton and the breakaway is steady. And it go! The first sectors of cobblestone are approaching. While it is still too early to make any big moves, the pace of the race should accelerate. And we're off. The riders are onto the first sector, number 28, from Traville to Inchi, 2,200 meters of cobblestones. The breakaway is losing ground. Sectors are numbered in decreasing order. The last sector bears the number one. The sectors are classified according to a system of stars and colours. The most difficult to cross are rated as five stars and are recognisable by the black markers that designate the entry. The riders are now on sector 27. They will be very quickly on to the next sector since there's barely two kilometers between the end of the first one and the beginning of the next. Last time check with a breakaway, one minute. The head of the race is onto the first four-star sector, more than 3,400 meters long and ending in a rising falls flat. Some riders could already be in difficulty. He's got his teammates riding because in front, there's a rider who's dangerous to him in the overall standing. Oh, 
There's a good few people at the front of the race. That must be why he's pushing his team. At the end of the next sector, the riders will reach the first feed zone. A few moments of rest before facing the remaining 23 sectors. Arno De Mar is a ruler sprinter who's expected to shine in the spring classics. His sprint victory in the 2016 edition of the Milan San Remo, as well as his performances in the Paris-Roubaix, make him an opponent to be closely watched. John Degenkorb is an excellent sprinter, who has the particularity of not being too bad on short climbs, unlike many pure sprinters. Here's a pure ruler. Make sure you don't leave him alone up front. It will be difficult to catch him and it's better for him to finish on his own. The head of the race has one and a half minutes lead on the peloton.
I'll protect him. Okay, I'll consume a feed. Here we go again, from Vertin to saint martin sur Caillon. A 2,300 meter sector is awaiting the riders. Time difference between the peloton and the breakaway is steady. If the first sectors have already scattered the peloton, the race between the favourites should only start from the trench of Aronberg, a mythical sector that has entered 95 kilometres from the finish. The next sector is approaching for the front of the race. This is the first in a sequence of three sectors that will come one straight up to the other, making for almost six kilometers of road without tarmac. Watch out! You're not going to be able to attack for much longer! The peloton is riding hard. Stay well placed! Oh. 
He's got his teammates riding because a rider who's dangerous for the stage victory has broken away. The breakaway is losing ground. Watch out! You're not going to be able to keep up this pace for very long. You risk a blow-up. If you continue at this rate, you'll explode. In less than 10 kilometers, the first riders will be on to the Trench of Arenberg, first key sector for the favorites of this Paris-Roubaix. But beforehand, they will have to cross the demanding Havelouis to Wallers sector, classified as four stars. Another 100 kilometers for the front of the race. Tension will soon be at its maximum. With the trench of Arenberg coming up in a few kilometers, now's the time to move to the front. Courage! Oui! 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 Oui!
Its true name being Drève de Boudera, the trench of Arenberg is 2,400 metres long. Obviously classified as five stars, it's a mythical Paris-Roubaix site, which, if it does not decide the winner, often performs a first selection between favourites. We're on to the trench of Arenberg. He's gone down. His teammates will no doubt wait for him. The first riders are leaving the trench of Arenberg. It's time to take stock of the damage and the forces still present to see who will put his stamp on the race. Last time check with a breakaway, one minute. The next sector, from Wallers to Elaine, also known as the Pont Gibus, in honor of twice Paris Roubaix winner Gilbert Duclos Lassalle, is 1,600 meters long and is classified as difficulty level 3 out of 5. The breakaway is losing ground. Thirty seconds lead for the head of the race. Guys, the peloton should be there for the stage win. The riders up front still have something left. They're upping the pace to try to hold out till the end. It is now the longest sector of the race and one of the most difficult that awaits the riders. 3,700 meters long, from Orna to Wandingy, it offers a real opportunity to turn the screw.
The riders are all back together. Everything will be played out in the final kilometers. It is not always a good idea to be too many in a breakaway, as the others will not necessarily want to cooperate with us. He's just fallen. That may cost him some time in the overall standings. The approaching sector from Walla to Brillio is 2,400 meters long. When they exit, the riders will have no time for a breather because there's hardly one kilometer before they hit the next sector. The leading riders have now crossed half of the cobbled sectors. There are only 14 left. The front of the race is now entering the second feed zone. Then it will be the Beuvry La Forêt to Orchie sector that awaits the riders. He's a rider who can put in a long day's ride. He has no real strengths or weaknesses except the mountains. Punched peloton. Sector 13 for the front of the race. 1,400 meters.
It's now the turn of the Orshi sector to welcome the riders. 1,700 metres of cobblestone. In a few kilometers, it will be another key moment for the race with the more Pivel sector. However, before that, the four star sector 11 will have to be crossed. Sector 11 has begun, 2,700 metres from Oshilizorshi to Bessé. teammates riding because in front there's a rider who's dangerous to him in the overall standing. 30 seconds lead for the head of the race. His teammates are accelerating. He's no doubt asked them to reel in the counter-attack to avoid too big a breakaway. The race is entering the final 50 kilometers, and the next sector is none other than Mont Pivel. Classified as a difficulty 5 and 3 kilometers long, this sector is often described as an ordeal. When it's over, some riders will certainly be eliminated from the list of prospective winners. got his team riding because he's a favorite for the stage. You should get rid of him.
I'll try and hinder relays. Okay, I'll consume a feed. The leading riders are now onto a short sector, 700 meters between Merigny and Avlan. The next sector from Pont Thibault to Ennevelin is 1,400 meters long and carries a three-star level of difficulty. The riders are all back together. Everything will be played out in the final kilometers. I'll try and hinder relay. A two-star sector is now on the menu. The difficulty of the sectors will then increase until the Carrefour de la. Oh, 
Less than 30 kilometers to go now for the head of the race. And another six sectors to cross. The next two sectors, classified as three stars, are only one kilometer apart. The riders won't have time for a breather. He's got his teammates riding because in front, there's a rider who's dangerous to him in the overall standing. Got a ride, guys. He's dangerous for the overall standing. The riders are now heading towards the Confin Pivel and Carrefour de Labre sectors, both often proving decisive for final victory. Your opponents are upping the pace to hold off the peloton. The front of the race is now entering the Confin en Pivel sector. The riders will then head straight onto the Carrefour de l'Arbre, the final five star sector in the race. Now it's the Carrefour de l'Arbre, with its five-star difficulty. This is the last sector that really provides a chance to hurt one's opponents. Very often, the first rider out of this sector goes on to win in Roubaix. Penultimate sector for the leading riders. The peloton is riding hard. Stay well placed. There's only one sector left to be crossed. Will it allow the men of the front to sort out a hierarchy?
Ten kilometers. You will have trouble seeing it through to the end. Watch out, he's trying to get away on a counter-attack. Watch out, he's trying to catch up the sprinters. He's accelerating. The race leaders are into the velodrome. Victory will come down to a sprint. One more lap, and it's the finish. Last kilometer. Don't look back. The peloton is right behind you. He has managed to tame the health of the North and its cobblestones! He has
has added a monument to his list of achievements. Congratulations to him! Everyone had their eyes on us at the start of this Paris-Roubaix, but it didn't prevent us from winning. Well done, lads. You've tamed the hell of the North.